All right. Hey guys, my name is uh, Seth Williams, employee and also son of Justin Williams over at the swim shop. And this is my 1995 Chevy Shorty Boogie Van. Uh, when I got this thing, it was a 100% bare shell. Uh, the man that had it before, he must have bought it from some type of Bell South company or whatever. It was a foam van originally. Then it was a plumbing van for the longest time. Had the little V6 and automatic, um, both of it absolutely blown up. The heads were off the V6. Uh, the transmission was pretty much out of it. And it was uh, had been sitting so long, it was actually plants and vegetation growing inside of it. And this is the first ever vehicle I've had to pressure wash from the inside when I bought it. So <laughs> it was literally nothing but a bare shell. Um, as you can see, there is some body damage, but how it got to be 100% bare metal. Um, I love, absolutely love Mad Max, uh, especially Mad Max uh, Road Warrior and Fury Road. I like crazy stuff, so I had a decision to make between gobs of money into body work and paint or a weekend of flapper disc and a little clear coat and going at it that way. So that's uh, the, <laughs> the way I chose. I thought it come out pretty cool and it's a little unique. It, there's some plans as far as paint. With this being bare metal, I'm gonna treat it like it's uh, metal flake paint. Do a whole lot more candy colors and more graphics and more 70s style hot rod stuff with it. But as I mentioned, this is a 1995. So this grill is a 73. We got this out of a junkyard. Uh, me and my dad, we just had a whole day of having a good time ripping apart another Chevy Shorty that had a tree fall on top of it. So. This thing is just a mix and mosh of different 70s vans. I originally bought another van that I was hoping to turn into my main boogie van, but it was just so far gone. So I wound up robbing a whole lot of parts on that and uh, making it into this. Actually, uh, the uh, your bubble window came out of that van, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, the bubble window out of Mr. Van, which is actually on my YouTube channel, Old Jeremiah's uh, Foobar Designs. You can check out that van, but I left it. These are the original colors. It looked like I mean, it was like this red, white, and blue crazy, looked like freaking Elmo was murdered to make the whole inside. It was red and blue shag everywhere. It, it, it was pretty wild. So in honor of uh, Mr. Van, which is the van that come out of, I kept this window, all the reflective, crazy metallic colors that that guy had painted it before. But uh, yeah, even some of my marker lights off oh, yeah. of that van, I kept those blue, but um, as I had mentioned, I love Mad Max, so when the style of the van, when I was looking for parts and things, it didn't have to be 100% perfect. I wasn't looking for 100% perfect chrome, rust-free, whatever, so stuff like this Kreger, I, it was face down on a farm that we went and picked up a few cars from. I asked the guy if I could have it. He said, absolutely, so this has not seen the light of day for quite some time, and now it's been to Sarasota, Florida, and back, and Golly, who knows where else, all over the southeast. Um, like I said, I love Mad Max, and I always wanted a vehicle with zoomy pipes on it. So Ivan and I, we went down there. We had the crazy wild hair of taking off the pipes I had and chopping them up and remaking them, and these are all cuts and bends out of previous exhaust work that we had done on some other vehicles. So if you're missing some parts off of your exhaust, it's <laughs> where they are. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm no. sure. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, that was a pretty interesting day in the shop. Those pipes were made. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, I still got some work to do. Uh, there was a plug in from where it still was a Bell South van. I'm actually gonna run me uh, a pipe in or the uh, electrical stuff to make it shore power. That's where I'll hook it up. But I do have a setup for shore power as of right now. What's the uh, What's the deal going on with the hood there? Well, originally thought we had an uh, overheating problem and it was fuel surging, so hot fuel. And we took it down to Sarasota, Florida. This vapor is not the, do what? Vapor lock. Vapor lock, and there we go, vapor lock. And while we were down there, it was so hot, I took actually took the original hood off of it and uh, run it all the way back home with no hood, but it turned out my clutch fan was bad and a few other things. But when I, uh, we got back, Ivan and I had the wild hair of making a, a hood with a hood scoop in it. Uh, everybody knows of the custom fiberglass hoods you can get. and. They made uh, old stock stuff that you can probably find if you're lucky enough and got the budget. But 
what we did, we took a sawzall and a stop sign and chopped it all up. And as you can see, again, not too concerned about rust or anything like that. So we just left it like that. It definitely fit the uh, the theme of the van. Yeah, it actually paid off too. You won best rust at the last show you yeah, were Yeah, thanks <laughs> to uh, Renegade, uh, Renegade Vans out in Irwin, Tennessee. Uh, went out to Heavy in the Holler and won best rust uh, for the van. So I don't know if I'll ever win best paint, but I'll, I've, I'm pretty much guaranteed best rust every time. Um, Let's see, a few other things done to the van. I did some glass etching. Dad had a old uh, etching tool in his toolbox that he used to put his initials all in the names of his tools and stuff. That way they wouldn't walk off at races and wind up in other people's toolboxes. So I figured, well, it's gotta be good for etching glass. So I love Frazetta style stuff, that old 70s mystical fantasy artwork. So I did a lot of that. Uh, the first piece I actually did was the windshield piece here, the Reaper right in the middle. Uh, yeah, you might not be able to see that with the reflection, but you can get the gist of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, like I mentioned too, this thing was 100% bare. So the inside was just all metal. Uh, there was no interior. In fact, the seats were pretty much out of it too. The guy had uh, ripped out the seats to make more room to work on the V6 that ex had uh, exploded. What about the painting there on this on this glass? Oh yeah, Tell this me, is. Uh, I can't remember exactly all that myself. This is uh, my logo here, Fubard. Um, I painted all the black on the outside and painted all the color on the inside, so it's got this kind of trippy effect. And uh, probably gonna have to redo it here. It's got a little uh, weathered to it, but I don't mind that look at all. Take it on the inside here. And this is, again, mishmash pieces of, I mean, these came out of an ambulance van. Uh, and this is the van I use actually as my art booth when I set up at shows. So. And I can attest to it. Every time we go to a junkyard or something, he's crawling around in vehicles just getting little pieces here and there. So, so it's just a mishmash of everything. In fact, all the wood on the wall here, those are uh, pallets from my good friend Lee. He uh, works at a place where there's a lot of unused pallets, and he said, man, just come on and get them. So he spent a good weekend of busting up pallets, and thanks to Ivan, the wood master, uh, helping me out doing that stuff. Stuff like this cabinet here, that came from um, Habitat for Humanity. A little too big, so I cut that right in half. The ceiling is kitchen backsplash, which I have another whole coffin-style church mood light glass thing that I'm building for that. Um, the headliner is just material I found at a yard sale. Uh, I got a custom, I've never seen it, I'm pretty sure they're out there, but custom white moon eyes SoCal uh, steering wheel. But eventually the whole dash is going to be black. I'm going to paint that black. I got some shows coming up that uh, actually the van is going to be showed at, and there's some things I'd like to get done to it. But And you uh, did all the pinstriping? Yeah, all the, the pinstriping on the doors. Like I said, all the etching. Any Anywhere there is like little custom touches of paint, that is uh, all me. But there's some RV parts in here. There's, I mean, square body truck stuff. It's just, <laughs> it's a, a literally a junkyard mishmash of parts that put all together. Um, and luckily through a help with a lot of friends and obviously dad, all this kind of come together. But even crazy stuff like we got down there, we had fun with the inside this door panel. Have to probably redo it here soon, but just, you know, having fun with it. And this is actually my daily driver. I drive it every single day. In fact, mm -hmm. I'm going to Bristol this weekend. So again, you got the Cheech and Chong frillies across the top of the windshield. <laughs> yeah, got to have those. But the van is a uh, small block Chevy 305. The guy I bought it from, it was a throttle body motor and it was just too much of a cam he put in it. It's kind of an RV stump, thumper style cam. So it's got a little bit of a duration and hit to it, but I mean, it ain't no big performance stuff, but just way too much for that little throttle body to handle. So it's actually a uh, aluminum metal rock intake with a quadrajet. jet. A turbo 350 out of my 1970 uh, short bed GMC truck, the original transmission with it. We pulled that out of the building and we slapped that in there and it's been doing great. Uh, nothing fancy to the rear end, still the stock 10 bolt that come with it. And I believe since it was a work van, it does have those helper springs under it. 
So it does, it already kind of sat up big in the back and we cut the springs in the front. Eventually we'd like to do drop spindles, but we got the geometry in the front per, working pretty well, but it does ride like a lowered car or lowered van, you know. You, I jump half the bridges I hit going 65, so <laughs> that's always a good time. But What's the, uh, tell them a little bit about the Foggy Mountain VC there. Oh yeah, let's see. This is, uh, this is our band club out of Pilot Mountain, North Carolina. I started with my good friend, uh, Brandon Finney over at uh, Main Street Tattoo. That's where he works, so shout out to Brandon Finney. But um, this is our van club, Foggy Mountain Van Club. You can follow us on, I think, BMC on Instagram or Foggy Mountain Van Club on Instagram. I'll have that link in the, the description there. But I also got my vest over the weekend, so that's in there. But I mean, all my stuff is thrown on the van. It's, it's I'm serious. I hadn't washed this thing in what two and a half weeks or so. Yeah, I know. No. And, 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 and people, the people that know Seth, man, he he lives in this van. We went to the beach the last two years. We went to the beach, had a nice house on the beach yeah. for the whole week, and he slept in his van out on the beach the whole week, both sure years did. that we've gone to the beach. Sure did. I loved every minute of it, but. There's some more things I'd like to do with the van, make it a little more comfortable. Um, I'd love to get a fan in it. That's one thing, but there's so much pop-up glass. Pop-out glass has actually been okay. As I mentioned before, there will be more paint work uh, that I want to do to it, especially for some sh upcoming shows in October. But um, yeah, I, this is another thing. I rolled it in. We got done with work on a Tuesday, I believe, of all things. And just rolled it in there and I've always had this vision of something being on the side in just nice big 70s style airbrush. So this is actually airbrushed and brushed paint, a little bit of everything, acrylic, uh, extra paint from my buddy's body shop that he gave me, um, some pinstripe in one shot, just oil based. So, and this is all uh, cleared with hardener clear, like two, two mix, two, three mix hardener clear. So. This metal is not going to rust for a while, and of course, with more paint work, it'll be cleared more and more. So this metal should be protected for a while. But um, yeah, I just like the old '70s boogie van look, and with the uh, the materials I had and the things I had on hand, this is kind of what I come up with. And as I mentioned, it's all it's going to be changing and morphing. And um, but yeah, but you can follow this van on uh, old jeremiah food bar old jeremiah's food bar designs on instagram and check out uh, my music page too uh, jsw music nc on instagram but i'll have all that linked in the description you can follow that but and you'll see this van will be coming in the shop you'll see a lot of stuff being done on this van in the shop but oh, yeah. this is the van that we were talking about we had bounced around doing the four-wheel drive conversion on it but it's just I just like it too much. Yeah, it and it's, it's, it really has started to get a little following around. A lot of people know it like it is. Uh, matter of fact, he was invited to a show to be in the congregation in Charlotte coming up in October. So it'll be down there. And I think what we're going to do is just find him another van and make him a four-wheel drive camper van. He's going to keep this one just like it is. Yeah, like I said, I drive this one every day, so I can't have it down for too long. Yeah. For four-wheel drive swaps anyway. But yeah, Matter of fact, you're going back to Bristol this weekend. Going back you? to Bristol this weekend. Like I mentioned, it's it's been... I mean, I would trust this van to go to California. I don't know how many repairs I'd have to make going there, but I would definitely trust it. Uh, it's, I think it's become part of the family in a, in a way. Uh, it definitely gets looks, which, you know, can't help that with the way it looks. But, yeah, it's, uh, it has definitely been fun. And there's, I would do every single one of the trips I've taken in it again, and I plan to do a whole lot more in it. But... You can keep following us here at uh, Swim Shop 4x4, and you'll probably see this van a whole lot more in the garage with a few more modifications later on down the road. But like I said, this is my 1970s style boogie van. And go ahead and be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to tell everybody else to subscribe. And we will do our best to keep these videos coming, and I hope they're interesting. If they're, if they're not, let us know. We'll try to do something better. But uh, I think we're... Uh, I think we're going to have you some interesting stuff coming up, so just give us a like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.